In this video, we're going to learn to take a full color clip and fade it into a black and white or a grayscale clip. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Final Cut Pro Shorts, a quick 1-2 to two minute tutorial highlighting Final Cut Pro tips and tricks, simple effects and other features. Down in our timeline, we have a color clip of a couple walking away from the camera. Now, we can turn the entire clip black and white, or we can start out with a color clip and slowly fade out the color. For this demo, let's start with a color clip and fade it to black and white. Move the skimmer in your timeline to where you want to fade out the color and press Command B to blade your clip. Now, let's select the second part of our clip and convert it to black and white. There's a couple different methods you can use to achieve this. The first and simplest method is applying the black and white effect built right into Final Cut Pro. Open the effects browser and from the color category, select and apply the black and white effect. Very simple. Let's press Command Z to undo that. The second method, which gives you a little more control over the colors, is applying a color correction and manually desaturating your clip. Select color correction from the effects browser and drag and drop it over your clip. Now in the inspector, select color board from color correction one and click the saturation tab. Here you can desaturate the entire clip with a global puck, or you can individually desaturate the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Now with the second part of the clip in black and white, it's time to fade your clip from color to grayscale. The easiest way to achieve this is by applying the cross dissolve transition. Open the transitions browser, select dissolves, and drag and drop the cross dissolve transition between the two clips. You can also adjust the time of the transition to make the fade between the clips faster or slower. This is one of many quick and simple effects in Final Cut Pro to help you achieve exactly the look you want for your video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share this with someone else who might enjoy it. And make sure to hit the subscribe button for more Final Cut Pro shorts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.